This Photoshop video tutorial is to describe the difference between vibrance and saturation. The first thing that I'm going to do is make a duplication of this image. So I'm going to go image, duplicate, OK. Put one over here. And just keep one over there. So in this one, I'm going to do a saturation. And I'm going to make this 28. And then in this one, I'm going to do a vibrance. And also make the saturation 28. As you can see, these images are identical. If I make that 48, that has the exact same effect as making this 48 as well. Now the actual difference by using just the vibrance adjustment, when I move this up, it doesn't overly saturate the entire image. What it actually does is it saturates the lower saturated areas. By contrast, if I boost the saturation, as you can see, it completely saturated everything over the entire image. However, boosting the vibrance all the way is only giving an enhancement over to the blue areas. However, the vibrance palette is incredibly limited. As you can see, I have a slider of 100 to negative 100. And even negative 100 still leaves some color behind. If I'm going to be using the saturation part, I might as well be using the saturation tool itself. So now the question actually comes in, where can I match this vibrance using just the saturation palette? And the answer to that is resoundingly yes. Because if I just raise up the saturation, as you can see, I'm enhancing the yellows, the reds, and every other color involved. However, that's because I'm on the master channel. If I do the pull down and I change it over to the blues, for example, and I boost that, instantly now I'm boosting just the water and the sky and not everything off to the side. If I actually do want to boost the, this area over here with the weeds separately, I would of course choose the yellow and boost that separately. And now using the saturation palette, I've effectively mimicked what we were able to do using the vibrance with a whole lot more control. So it's in my personal opinion that the vibrance adjustment is yet another tool offered by Photoshop that needs to go away. It is a waste of time, it's a waste of space, and it causes undue clutter for people that are actually trying to use this program. In another video, I'm going to go into greater detail about how to use the saturation palette to effectively do a whole lot more than just simply saturate an image, or as I just showed, saturate pieces of an image. In another video, I'm going to go into greater detail about the hue saturation adjustment and how to use this tool panel. If you found this Photoshop tutorial helpful and answered some of the questions you had on this topic, please go to www.theartofretouching.com and sign up for the free membership, which has access to more video tutorials that are not available anywhere else. If you are on iTunes, please give us a review, preferably five stars, because this will help others discover our videos. If you have any specific topics that you would like for us to talk about in the future, please send an email to info at theartofretouching.com.